So PUV, you're first off the plane every time. The plane lands, he gets up, he's walking out, and people are upset at him. What about, yeah. a, what about a flight because we're never connected to flight? We're said, early, so we're early. Right. We've got plenty okay. of time. We have plenty of time. Uh, and I didn't think there was an issue. I said, excuse me, I just walked through. So obviously he knows he's making a disturbance because he's recording it. He's recording going. He, he's he's leaving the, you know, not even the back of the plane. He's leaving the, the middle front of the front middle of the plane. Um, and then he's just going up and he's, he's ready to go and he's out the door. Okay. First of all, I got to say something. He doesn't have any luggage, it looks like. Yeah. So and he has a connecting flight. Let the, him, the, the I wouldn't yeah, mention the, anything. The question is, is he cutting the line? Is he doing the wrong thing? Whatever. And I think it boils down to, to, the, to the simplicity of, is he slowing any of the other passengers down by skipping straight to the front of the line? And that answer is no. He's not. He's not slowing anyone no. down. He's got no baggage, no luggage. He probably just had a little bag underneath his seat. Throw it on, walk to the front. As soon as the door opens, he's out. I will be honest, though. It does kind of annoy me when I see people from all the way in the back of... Sprint to the front. Yeah, with like all It's their... annoying, but if I see someone do that, I go, are they slowing anybody else down? I mean, I hate it. They're going all the way from the back sometimes, and they got like 10 things with them, and they're like, okay, now, now you're, you're being a disturbance, but... If, if you're traveling incredibly light and you're just run, quickly getting to the front and you're not interfering with anyone else's day, I say go for it. That, that's 100% And allowed. he also mentioned he has a connecting flight, even though they yeah. were all, like very early. Yeah. He I mean, regardless of connecting flight or not, uh, you know. Well, I, I, think I think connecting my, flight, that makes sense. Like, it, it adds to it. It adds, it, it adds to it. Um, I, I, I have done that before, definitely. I've 100% done that before because sometimes you're on some flights and people, I fly literally a hundred times a year. Okay, people. So I'm very well versed in the etiquette of the of the air travel. Um, sometimes, even when you're in the middle of the plane, if you're on like a cheaper airline, like let's just say Southwest, people are incredibly slow getting out. Um, sometimes they don't even get up out of their seat until the they line don't. gets to them. Until yeah. like the line catches up to them, and then. There's nobody walking off the plane because the person is still getting their luggage off. I believe you get your luggage out either if you're in that aisle seat, you either get your luggage out immediately and wait there and be ready to go as soon as the line catches up to you, or at least get five steps, you know, five rows ahead of people at the very least. Because you know what, you that... want to keep a constant trickle flow. If there's a holdup because somebody needs to get a bag out. You're doing air travel. Work. That gives me a little bit of anxiety when it's like my turn to come out. And if I am sitting, like I'm like, I feel like a lot of people are waiting on me. Well, I if I'm in the aisle seat, I get up, I get all the bags out. I even ask if anybody's sitting in my row, you got any bags? And I'll get their bags out for them or at least put it easy for them to access. That's how you're supposed to do it. No hold up. Constant flow. Constant flow outwards. And this poor guy, honestly, if I was him and I had no other bags and you're just like sitting there in your seat, just just waiting for 10 minutes just so you could walk off when you could have just walked off to begin with. Hey, go for it. Go for it. But yeah. thing is, there are people who don't like that. And then like, oh, why don't you just buy the tickets that are closer? Spend an extra $600 to get in the first class so you can get... No, he doesn't need to. He doesn't need to. And people, people don't... There are people out there that don't like it when other people get ahead. Mm -hmm. Like... If some people, um, if there's like an abandoned house next door and mm -hmm. somebody moves in mm -hmm. and they claim the home because of, you know, they're able to legally claim it because it was abandoned for 50 years or right. whatever. And people get mad that that person got that house for nothing instead of like, it, it's just because someone else got ahead and you didn't. Yeah. The people just want to like anger and tear them back down. People don't like that. They're never like, oh, good for you. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. You're off the plane. Like you must be feeling good. Feel good for yourself. People aren't like that in this yeah, world no more. No. They got to push their misery on to somebody else. Just look at the comment sections. All right. Thank you for watching. Peace out.